Rivers PDP accuses former Minister of Transportation Rotimir Mechi of working for the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar. And ADC candidate Dumebi Kachiku kicks over endorsement of Peter B by party stalwarts, says criminals sold the party. This is Plus Politics. I'm Mary Anacon. The People's Democratic Party Campaign Council in River State has alleged that a former Minister of Transportation, Rosimia Mechi, is working secretly for the presidential candidate of the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, um, who is uh, the um, presidential candidate. Now, this is as the state PDP Campaign Council has said that it had identified Amechi as a member of the cabal pushing Nigerians with the current fuel and naira scarcity. The Director of Publicity and Communications, River State PDPCC Chief Ogbunna Nwuke, made this known in a statement issued in Port Harcourt on Monday. Now, he further alleged that the, uh, that the former Minister of Transportation, Amechi, recently reconciled with members of the PDP Presidential Campaign Council in the state and has since been working secretly in holding meetings with Atiku and others in the Campaign Council. Well, joining us to discuss this live is Opunabo Inko Tare, a former spokesperson for the River State Governor Nisum Wike. And, of course, uh, we're being joined by Sogbeye Eli, who is a spokesman for River State APC Campaign Council. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Good evening. Good evening, Maria. Good evening, Nigeria. Great. Um, Opunabo, I'm going to start with you. Um, you obviously had works with Governor Weekend. You know, you and I have had conversations about the G5 governors and the no love lost between um, Governor Weekend and the presidential flag bearer of the um, PDP. But then, of course, we also know the rifts between Governor Weekend and the former governor of River State, who is also former transportation minister. Uh, and so... It, it's very difficult for the ordinary person to understand what's going on here. Can you cl quickly paint a picture for us? And how, how could this be? I mean, for somebody who ran uh, for the ticket for presidency in the opposition, someone who has always clearly stated his position in the APC to be walking in cahoots with the presidential candidate of the PDP. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. I actually cannot ascertain the veracity of the violence of that claim by Obona Wuke. And I read today uh, a piece written by Eze Chuke Meta Eze, where he denied uh, that report. He said his principle, that is what he written with that nature, it's not working to the officials with the PDP presidential candidate, and that there is no ounce of truth in that. That is all I can say. But if I have to go further, I don't know why the PDP in River State will come up with such an allegation and will want to contemporize because Yeson is one with the who is the governor of River State, is working openly, overtly, not 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 overtly, overtly with. Uh, in fact, they have instructed the local government chairman to ensure that they deliver their local government to Tinubu. They even threatened that should any fail to do so, such a chairman will be removed from office. So I don't see any reason why I can't fathom the rationale behind that publication. Probably it is to um, let Nigerians or other people cast as fashion from. Um, you want to make you look at But that won't be the case. Well, well, whatever it is, it won't be the case. Because it's also my conviction that even those in the APC in River State, I'm talking about River State, will not even vote for Bola Ahmed. That is my perception. That is my conviction. I'm not saying that is what it is. Mm. But from what is the Judy Mega AZ published today and what I read, I don't think there is any ounce of truth in that allegation. I doubt it. Okay, quickly, before I ask my next question, I think we're getting feedback from somebody. I, I think somebody has a fan on or something. There's air blowing to either one of your speakers. Please 
we, we need to, for you to move away from that sound so that we can, it's distorting the conversation. All right, now let's talk about, um, so Wei, I'm coming to you. Most recently, um, in fact, since the presidential um, uh, primaries of the APC, we've not necessarily seen and heard a lot from the former Minister of Transportation, and he was conspicuously absent when uh, the presidential candidates of the APC visited the state. So uh, it's one thing to say, well, let's support the presidential candidate, but it's another to see uh, the body language and see actions coming from the Honorable Minister of Transportation. What's going on there? So, Wei, can yeah, you hear, can me? You hear me? Yes, go ahead. Good. Um, uh, with respect to the opinions people are forming uh, on the body language of uh, our leader, Chief Ikerito uh, it's, it's the entire to the abuse. But, you know, it, even the Bible says there's a time to be quiet, there's a time for everything. They, they, they might have been in the political news since 1999 non-stop. And for the first time, he's facing his academic work. And then Nigerians uh, are bothered. Uh, well, for me, it, it's, it's not the issue. That shouldn't be the issue. If he was doing something that was contrary to what everybody knows him to be, uh, then we can begin to have some guesses. And that's why the recklessness of our senior brother and my friend, Bona Woke, uh, speaking for the PDP, becomes a cause for concern. Uh, and make sure that we know he's a brave heart. And make sure that we know he does not speak from two corners of his mouth. He says it as he says. Why, why are people not bothered that I've seen him in the river APC campaigns, leading Tony Cole, around the 23 years like Labuki is doing in the PDP for, for St. Fogora. They should bother about that as well. The man had taken to his academic work. Maybe you do not know that the man is in Nigeria Law School at the moment. He's at a law school. And that's a program that's quite intensive. So he's giving his time to that program. And there have not been time to mix that. There's a politician at the law school who is running on the campaign trains, I mean, body. So the situation is neither here nor there. The man at the moment is actively involved in academic work at Nigeria Law School. And that mm. is the portion we have at the moment. Very interesting. Uh, at a time like this, when everybody or all hands need to be on deck, elections are a few days away. In fact, the camp, the, all through the campaign season, and you made a mention of the fact that the Amechi, we know, yes, he's a very outspoken, very clear when he's making statements all of a sudden becomes very quiet. And one, one would say that that silence, um, you know, could speak so many, it, it speaks a lot. And you're telling me that, oh, he's, he's going to law school and that's very important. Yes, of course, education is important, but his party is running for a revered office, one which he also uh, tried yeah. to, you know, you know run, contest for. Um, and again, there's, there's a lot that is at stake for River State APC, and you're telling me that all that concerns your principal is his law school. How, how well does that sit with anybody? I'm curious. Okay, let's, let's put it this way. I met you was speaker for eight years. I met you was governor for eight years. And for nearly eight years was a minister. That's a man that's traveled the political trajectory as a family. It's structural. That's well rooted in every of the 319 words in the river state. So in his absence, so much is happening. You're seeing us everywhere. The campaign is running almost on autopilot, effortlessly. It has a strong, vibrant political structure in the river state. And if we have to say, let's move in this direction, it, in seconds you see actions in that direction. I was saying that there's no cause for alarm at the moment. So those are sowing white oats. I could have been My regrets, my only regret is, yes, a man who I met appointed as director of press affairs at government house. I met appointed him again in that first term as commissioner of information. And by the second term, sent him to the House of Representatives in Abuja. In all of those years, 
When, when you say and that, when you say that and he now, sent it, him, don't I'm don't sorry, I'm sorry, Sukmeya, because you know, I, yeah. I like to, I like for people to be very clear on things like this. Um, you say Amechi sent him to the House of Representatives. So you're saying that it's not the vote of the people in his constituency that sent him to the House of Representatives. He was he was anointed. He was anointed by the, the then yeah. governor to go to the House of Representatives. So he owes thanks so to the governor, right? As candidates, a chair and Mumabu voted for him. But how did he get the tickets? The governor made that possible, ballot. right? So it was the governor who made it possible. He must have passed over the heads of others who were more of deserving course. than he was. Of course, the governor's level party. I see. The governor's level party had a final say. Hmm. And gave the right <laughs> who, did, who did they run the primaries against? Who did they win? How many votes? So I'm correct to say, Michi sent him to the House of Representatives. Now, if he has strength of character, you would have known that Michi is not one who will speak from two corners of his mouth. Hmm. It's unfortunate that in all of those years, when I okay, learn nothing about who he was working with and who was working under. Mm. It, so if he had learned 18 or 12 about Mechi, that statement that came from him, that horrendously annoying statement that came from him, that, that's what that abuses morality to the highest heavens. Would have come, I would not be having this conversation. If Mechi had made up his mind to work for a tip of Baka, it's not going to get a point to speak. I speak for the campaign, will have instructions to say something on, on TV or radio. And Mitch himself is not press shy. So, train time plus one and that's not, we're not like them. Yes, on weekend, we have got evidence everywhere. It's a strong local chairman, like uh, uh, my brother Punabo have said, yeah. So, vote the PDP, sorry, the APC candidate for president, our candidate, Asma Jibola, Metinibu, or Rick's expulsion from office. In the same party, in the same, in the same state, we're reading from WhatsApp platforms where they're saying that this is an internal memo and should not be leaked. Or funded it as leaks. Okay. So even when they say they're working for Sibaji, they're not doing that wholeheartedly. We are not in that kind of hue and shape and character. So we come as straight. But for you, or for you, okay. nothing has changed between when the primary is held in May 2022 and now. Okay. Permission to work from the APC. I'll, I'll, so, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you to talk more about internal party, uh, you know, situations um, in River State. But let me come back to Punabo. Punabo, let's again go back to you know. The fact that Amechi was conspicuously absent at Tinubu's campaign rally, something that everyone um, would want to be, every APC member would want to be associated because, of course, like I said earlier, on all hands have to be on deck to show some sort of support for your candidate. Now, I'd like to ask you um, about the fact that there's been speculations of a romance between Governor Wike and, of course, um, the APC presidential candidate. Do you think that that must have rubbed off somewhat negatively on uh, the former governor of River State? And, and I'd like to hear your thoughts on his, I mean, this excuse of him going to law school as opposed to being there for the presidential candidate of the APC. Well, if I have to speak frankly, uh, um, I don't know if it has to do with the relationship between Nation Wiki and Bola Ametini. That is the realm of uh, conjecture. But if I have to speak frankly, I think that probably there is no love lost between Amechi and Tinibu, probably. And that is why uh, uh, Amechi did not attend. Then, because if you also look at major states, the vice president was not even there at the grand rally. He was not even there. The vice president was not even there when. Um, Tinubu went stomping. He was not also there. So, probably, um, it's a matter of conjecture, anyway. probably there is actually no love love between Amechi and Tinubu. I don't want to think that it is because of Gershon is the one with I don't want to think that. Amechi is somebody that is known for, is known for his integrity. He's, he's a very brave man. You can't take that away from him. He has a grace. So, I don't think so. But if you ask me, uh, probably even what my brother said, probably the law school, you don't know if on that day he has an assignment or not, or if on that day he has a paper to present or so, you can't really tell, you know. Whatever we are saying here is, we are just guessing. So I want to believe that probably one of the reasons why Amici didn't come to Port Harcourt was because there was no love lost between Amici and Tinibu. And don't forget, it also has to do with how the presidential candidate treats the man. 
It's a conjecture. I don't have the facts. Mm -hmm. If, for example, you consider, because I know that after the uh, primaries, I think they have a meeting where they try to bury the hatchet, try to smoothen out the rats. But what happened subsequently, I don't know. You know, so probably it, it also depends on how the presidential candidate, TDP himself, probably would have treated the man. And if, for example, you try to demean a man or you want to tell the man that he's not important or without him you can be, of course, such a man, any man with pride, will just stay away. And that is what I guess. That is what I can extrapolate from all of this. But uh, not necessarily because of um, Wiki's relationship with. Well, I'm not I doubt that. I'm going to push you further. Since we're talking conjectures here, you know the saying that the, en the, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So I go back. Maybe I'm going to ask this question in another not, way. Not, uh, not, not necessarily. I, I completely disagree with that uh, aphorism. Not necessarily. And some will even tell you when you hate a man who hates your father, it's a common. Uh, uh, what was it called again? It added in Calabar land. A man who hates your father will never love you. It's also not completely true. Because I know what you're trying to say is that since there is no love lost between Yesu and Wike and Amiti, and Yesu and Wike is of not being with uh, Bola Metin, definitely Bola Metin or Yesu and Wike or Amiti will become enemies. I don't, I don't necessarily think so. Because it's politics. What will Amitri want from Yes on Wiki? Nothing. What will Amitri want from Bola Metinibu? Nothing. If APC wins River State, as leader of APC in River State, or even the South South, if APC wins River State, naturally Amitri takes the credit. Naturally. He takes the credit because he's the leader of the APC at River State, and I think by extension of the South South. But he probably has a reason which he might not have even disclosed to anybody why he stayed away. Mm -hmm. My brother is talking of law school. That's, that's probably, he has a better information. Mm -hmm. He's talking of law school. But mm -hmm. I want to believe that it has to do with a relation, the relationship between Amiti and Bola Medjinibu, which I think is frosty. I don't think it's smooth. Mm -hmm. That's what I gain from what has happened. I don't really think it's smooth. And I think that is probably why Amiti has stayed away. Since you can do that, it's not just Amiti. Even if you look at the vice president, he has really not been stomping with um, Bola Metinibu. Even in Lagos State, the Grand Rally today, I watched it. The Vice President was not there, but the President was there. So it's a matter of choice and a matter of perception. Mm. I don't think it really has to do with Yesu is the one with me. I, 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 I doubt that. Let, let, let me quickly come back to Sugbe. Sugbe, yeah, let's talk about the APC in River State. Um, this is not the first time that your governorship candidate is running. Um, for this office. We remember what happened the last time in 2019. Um, but um, thank goodness um, those cases have all been cleared and now your party is good to go. Um, but what is the situation within the River State APC? Because there are many who would say that your candidate and your party is fighting a lost cause, being that uh, many pundits would say that, um, you know, River State is, an a uh, is a PDP state and Governor Wiki has said he's going to deliver his state, even though he has not spoken about the national. But then, of course, uh, in your case, you have a Tonye call. And also, several pundits have uh, posited that um, the former transportation minister has left him out alone in the cold. What would be your response? Brilliant question. Uh, Mira, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good. We have a Tonye call. I call him a Rolls Royce. And in the, in, that, in the fray, every candidate out there respects them and not as much. Uh, except they don't know his antecedents. And except they don't get to know what to present to reverse people. I, I said it's not known for mediocrity. My brother Punabo out there can, can either affirm or deny this, but that's the truth. We have a state that has a pedigree, a history. And attitudes to power and politics, uh, not this, not this mediocrity being exposed to in the last eight years. If we talk about quality and character and what a leader has to offer, except he didn't watch the government debates two days ago, and except we're not following us on the campaign trail, 
anywhere Tony Cole has arrived at, including at Akota East today, while we came, was also in Simakota. He saw the crowds that came out. As a policy in a campaign, we'll make sure that set a candidate for House of Assembly, a candidate for the House of Representatives in that federal constituency, or a candidate for the Senate, that central district. You have no business in that campaign. So if you watch our clips, you see that we'll make sure we restrict people who have something to do with that campaign only in the area. And as we go around the areas, we're picking the nuggets, we're picking the people. Most people are extremely yearning for change. And when they say, if I say this PDP, I laugh. Mary, and you recall that in 2019, and thank God for the revelations of God recently in governance protocols from Wiki, in this nocturnal office so body long, how Toyoko lost the opportunity to fly the flag in 2019. We adopted Bukumaba Awara of the Action Alliance, African Action Congress, so AAC, uh, so Warriors Party, less than 24 hours in the governorship elections. I did a bit went to let me make the pronouncement. That was on a Thursday evening about where we're going to face, who we're going to, do, we're going to follow. And he noticed that in that election, it took three weeks for him to make a declaration. Every state in the South South, from Cross River to Pine Bomb, had had a declaration. So that picture that people paint the Bible as a BPDP is a fraud. Okay. And I'm also discounting it. Quickly, I have a so quick, 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 quickly. I, don't, I, I have, I have a question because we don't have time. Quickly, so maybe I just want to ask a quick question. Uh, I, I might sound like I'm repeating myself. What does what chance does your governorship candidate and all the other candidates running for different offices in River State have against the PDP one? When you talk about the fact that you we saw the crowd, um, there anybody can have a crowd at campaigns, but does that amount to the number of people who have PVCs and who are going to show up at the polling unit to cast their votes in favor of your party? I mean, that's the big question. And can you tell me, do you have a percentage of all the people that came out as in support of your party, whatever the crowd was, can that amount to votes? Okay, okay move away from the crowd. Can you match the quality of the PDP candidates by any means whatsoever? With Tony Cole, by no means. And the master is enlightened enough to know what they want. If the PDP is the benchmark assessment, then the man they brought is by no means a match. And you're going to see the results of what it polls. Match our candidates for Senate vis a vis the PDP, candidates for House of Representatives, and also for the Assembly. You see the results and you know that we're not here to joke. Okay. But we will win. Okay. All the right. reason why the party that claims to be on ground is attacking rallies. And making campaigns impossible, it's got that G3. We can have been living on false, false, false hope. They've been working on 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 on, 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 on sinking sand. You will see the results. Okay. Unfortunately for us, we're gonna have a problem with the with the with the weekend elections because the PDP is also gonna vote for our candidates for president. So you want you may want to claim that maybe stop the votes spills onto our side for if to win because also voting for president. <laughs> That's my big excuse. Okay. But by the time we arrive March 11 for the governorship, you will see why we are winning. Okay. There's absolutely no match. All right. We if have, we have any match at all, maybe there'll be other kind that's not the PDP. We have to so go. If the same person the PDP states, then they miss the point. We have same to go. We have to go. We do, we, we're, we're out of time. We're out of time, gentlemen. Upurabo Inko Tare is a former spokesperson for River State Governor Nyesha Mwike and, of course, is a, um, a political analyst. Also, um, we want to say thank you. So, Mwike Eli is the spokesman for the River State APC Campaign Council. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Unfortunately, time is not on our side. Thank, thank you for having me. All right, thank you. Thank you for staying with us. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll be discussing the ADC and claims of the party endorsing not just the Labour Party, but the PDP. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>